Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the U7 Pro from Ubiquity. This is a access point I paid fully for myself. I bought it for the purposes of this video. So let's take a look at it, see what we got going on. So we got the device out of the box now. The U7 Pro is the first device that supports the zero touch provisioning. Um, now, I don't see it on the box on this device, so I'm not quite sure where to do the zero touch provisioning. You possibly do it on the access point itself. I'm not sure. So it says uh, indoor use only, and there is no zero touch provisioning code on the access point itself. So I'm not quite sure exactly um, where you do the zero touch provisioning, but you can go on to unify.ui.com slash inventory to do the zero touch provisioning. In the box, we have our mounting guide as well as the mounting hardware that goes alongside of that. Additionally, we have the access point key and a Allen key that will allow us to do the ceiling tile mount. Um, as well as take the access point on and off of the mount. We also have plenty of mounting hardware included in the box. So here's what it looks like. There's a plastic cover on it that I'm going to remove. And there's a cardboard piece down here that is kind of holding the area down over here. So this is what the access point looks like. It is a nice material. Uh, it does feel different than the U6 Pro. Additionally, we have a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port on this device which is up from a one gig port on the last generation of access points. This is not the first access point from Ubiquity that's had 2.5 gig on it, but um, it is the first kind of just streamlined access point model that does have that feature. I'm going to power this actually with a PoE injector, that way I can get the full two and a half gigabit speeds on this device. So I'm gonna go plug this thing in, get this fired up, and we'll get on with the video. Okay, so purely from a spec sheet point of view, this thing does seem pretty similar to the Unify U6 Enterprise. This is obviously not an Enterprise model access point, but um, from purely specs only, it does seem to be pretty similar. It's got the six gigahertz antenna, 2.5 gig ethernet, etc. So I'm going to plug in the access point here with this cable, and then I will take my patch cable here, and I'm going to patch the ethernet injector. Now I will patch the PoE injector into the um, network switch. So I'm using a Microtech 2.5 gig switch. Um, this thing has eight 2.5 gig ports and two 10 gig ports. So I've got a 10 gig uplink to my MDF through this switch. Um, you'll see the access point is now firing up. You can see the white flashing light. Okay, so I'm going to open up the Unify app on my iPad here. If we go to devices, you'll see um, in a few minutes here, we will see the new um, access point pop up. I'm going to be adopting this to my UDM Pro. I have a one gigabit per second internet connection here, but I do have a local speed test server, I believe, if I remember correctly, that I can get excess of 10 gigabits per second on. So we should be able to do a very nice Wi-Fi test to see how much Wi-Fi speed we're actually getting from this device um, just over the local network. So one thing to mention as well, I do primarily have U6 Plus access points here um, in this building, um, but I do also have a U6 long range access point um, that's actually offline right now for some reason, but um, yep, so you'll see here on the left we have a U7 Pro pending adoption. We're going to click setup right here. It's going to connect to our access point. We can name the access point. And we're going to name we're going to name this U7 Pro. Click return, next, and we're gonna go to our dashboard. So you'll see the light on the access point is now blue, indicating that it is operational and set up. Um, you'll also see one interesting thing about this access point specifically is that it has a 7 next to the access point um, picture and that is to signify it is a Wi-Fi 7 access point. Now this does not have the 7 gigahertz band or whatever the gigahertz band is that Wi-Fi 7 has but it does support some of the um, lane sharing and that kind of thing that Wi-Fi 7 does um, or supposedly will support. I don't know if they've decided on a Wi-Fi 7 standard yet or what the case is but this is technically the Wi-Fi 7 generation of access point. Um, from Ubiquity. It is worth mentioning though that this does have the 6 GHz band um, for dedicated Wi-Fi 6. So that is better than the U6 Pro access point because that does not have the Wi-Fi 6 band. I don't know how well you can hear that but this thing does sound like it has an integrated fan on it which is kind of wild. Um, this thing must get pretty warm. I know um, the Enterprise access point, the U6 Enterprise access point does get quite warm. So. Um, this is, it's possible that this one also does get pretty warm as well. I don't know if it's something to do with a 6 gigahertz band or how much um, data and stuff is going through or the 2.5 gig ethernet. I don't know what it is, but um, it's just an interesting point right there. So I'm going to go here to my settings in the bottom right and I'm going to click, oops, where you click that? and I'm going to click on Wi-Fi at the top, click on Beam Networks and Broadcasting Access Points. You'll see 
Um, it's actually not even showing up as an access point available, um, but I do want to check the Wi-Fi band, which we still cannot see. So maybe we're waiting on this thing to adopt an update before we can do that. So we'll be right back as soon as this is done updating and is once it's already in Unify. The access point is now updated and ready to go. So in Unify now, let's go over to Wi-Fi at the top, click on Beam Networks, that is my Wi-Fi network of choice. We'll select Broadcasting APs and we'll select the U7 Pro. If we go back out of there, we'll go down here to Wi-Fi band and turn on the six gigahertz band. We'll go back out again and click apply. Click apply again to confirm our changes. So what this is doing is it is adding the um, Wi-Fi SSID to this new access point as well as enabling the six gigahertz band, which is going to give us that sweet, sweet, sweet Wi-Fi six speed. Um, in terms of how we're going to try this, um, we have um, a few different devices that I can try it with. I have an iPhone 15 Pro right here that can work. Um, it does have Wi-Fi six support. I also have a MacBook Pro um, M3 that is going to also be able to test our speeds. So I do, like I mentioned before, have the Libre speed test server fired up locally here. So I am able to do a local speed test of the network. Okay, so we now have the access point fired up. The issue I was having with the access point was that the Radius server that I'm using only listens to certain IP addresses. Um, anyhow, basically I just put the access point onto my management network, we're fine now. Um, but what I did want to do is I have the Wi-Fi Man app open on my phone and I'm going to run a speed test to the device. So um, this is speed testing to my UDM Pro. So you'll see here that we have just about over a one, um, one gigabit per second connection on the wireless band. So um, right now we're getting about 800, 900 megabits per second. Um, and this is just using pretty much standard settings. So we are on channel five of Wi-Fi six using the 320 megahertz um, range so it is um <clears throat> excuse me it is kind of somewhat maxed out on the settings i'd say um but at the same time positioning is terrible i mean my phone is right here next to the access point so it's pretty close um i will also add that typically on my u6 plus access points i get anywhere from three to four hundred megabits megabits per second it's not super fast but um, with this access point i should be able to fully take advantage of the one gigabit internet connection that i have um, and it is also worth noting that the access point is connected at a 2.5 gigabit E connection to the network. So um, that's how we're able to achieve those speeds. Um, before we end this video off, what I do want to do is I want to move this access point over slightly and we will grab the MacBook that I was talking about. And I'd like to do a speed test here on the MacBook. So let me open this up and we'll, and we'll run a speed test. Okay, so you'll see now we are connected on channel five I'm at the six gigahertz band at 160 megahertz of um, width. So if we start our speed test, I don't think this will be faster than the phone um, just because of the band we're connected to. Um, and yeah, you'll see here, we're getting just about 900 megabits per second. And on the upload speed, ooh, that's pretty rough, um, about 400 megabits per second. So I don't know what changed on this um, or why we are on a slower six gigahertz band or I guess smaller width, um, but that's just something to consider. This is pretty much a real world speed test um, in the sense that um, it's pretty much almost factory settings except for the beam width that I switched. Um, and this is using real world devices um, in a non ideal setup environment, I guess. Uh, there's a ton of other access points here. I'm not on the six gigahertz band, but that's just something there's more RF noise in the environment. So um, yeah. I thought this would be an interesting video. Um, if you have any questions about the U7 Pro or anything like that, leave a comment down below. I'm happy to answer them. Make sure to subscribe and like the video because I have to pay for the access point somehow. Ubiquity did not send this to me. So thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. I will see you in the next video.